What is up guys? Welcome on back to TK's Garage and um, I got a new product in. This one's called the uh, C Reader Elite. Made for BMWs. Interesting. The uh, Launch Tech Company Limited. Alright. 480 by 800 P screen. 9 to 18 volts. Cool, cool, cool. Product is an intelligent and networkable diagnostic tool based on the Android platform. It can provide the most convenient service for DIY owners and repair shops. Fault codes, clearing codes, reading data stream, action tests, special functions. Let's get it out of the box and see what we're working with. Hey, 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 All right, guys, welcome on back to TK's Garage, and an old buddy of mine, somebody I've dealt with for a while here on the channel that sends me code readers and whatnot from my previous company, um, now works at this company, he sent me, uh, hit me up and was like, hey, TK, I'd really like you to take a look at this, where well, you had the BMW, nice little books, don't read that, and um, I was like, cool, man. And I'll tell you why I want to get into this here in a little bit, because supposedly, like, you can program keys and stuff with this, and I want to get into a BMW theft series with you guys. <coughs> I like this. Let me tell you why I like this. I like this because, you know, you can plug this up. But I also wonder if this will fit. Oh, maybe, I don't know. If, I don't think it'll fit the uh, ODB port. But it's cool. It's got its own little plug. Keep dust out. Nice. Now, it's got a charger, it looks like, too. It does. It has a, a USB-C cable, maybe to transfer data, because I think the car would power it. But maybe it has its own built-in battery, too. Um, I don't see a power button, so I'm assuming that's what it is. SD card slot, in case you want to save the data locally. But I like this because you can transfer stuff over to a PC or whatever and do your thing. Now what I want to do is I want to plug it in real quick. I got to unplug my uh, my Beamer code dongle that I got down there. And um, I always keep it plugged in. I know. It's probably bad for the dongle, but who cares? But, uh, yeah, let me go ahead and get this open. And uh, uh, we'll go if I can get the damn thing off and we'll go from there. All right, so we have the reader plugged in. Uh, pops up right here. It says, welcome to Sea Reader Elite BMW. English is what we want. Time zone is going to be America, Denver. No, we, we're Pacific. Los Angeles. Next step. Do I have to be connected to Wi-Fi? Well, this sucks. Oh, all right, let me get a Wi-Fi hotspot up. No, I said you had to be on Wi-Fi. So it looks like we got a little bit of an update procedure going in. It's going to take a little bit of time here to install all the different stuff, waiting for downloads, and then we'll come back and we'll uh, see what it can do. So I have put my BMW in diagnostic mode. You can do that by hitting your button really fast three times here. And we're just going to do a quick diagnosis and see what it uh, pops up. Auto detect. We have a BMW. Okay. It's connecting. All right, let's see what it does. I just want to see if it sees the main code. And yeah, I did. I tore the shit out of the crotch on my jeans. Don't ask. Automatically search. Let's see if it can find the car automatically. Look at that. Boom. VIN number and everything. Wow. Next. All right, what else we got here? Come on, reader. Oh, gear selector. Oh, it's it's pulling up all kinds of stuff. Oh, snap. Let's go. All right, so now we're going to get a quick... Uh, 
scan on the car and find we got a bunch of fault codes light operation unit button stuck <clears throat> I don't know what that means we'll have to figure that out now uh oh exhaust flap activation open circuit now that I know because we've unplugged that that's deleted the lower radiator blind is jammed radiator blind at the bottom block during installation now I know that there's a mechanical opening and closing at the bottom of the car um, very similar to the grill up top but that's interesting I'm gonna have to fix that wheel electronics battery life front left okay battery life front right real left huh okay ethernet unexpected communication termination whatever that means <laughs> anti-theft alarm system tilt sensor and interior movement detector deactivated um now if you don't know what that is let me show you so I'm in the car a lot. Sometimes I'm sitting and I'll turn the car off. Well, there's a sensor up here in case you didn't know. And what it does is if somebody, like if your windows were open and somebody reached in, it would make the car go off. It also allows me to do this and turn my radio up and down. And currently it's disabled. So I just went ahead and click clear codes. I want to see what it does when I clear them. Because um, some of them might be old codes that could still be there because this is this is almost dealer level diagnostic And the thing that's crazy was I had no idea that the air dam in the front was not opening and closing I knew I cut the ones up top, but it looks like I may need to open the ones Because um, that's gonna make my trans transmission run hot when I'm really pushing the car so because I believe my trans cooler down there. Uh, there was, there may still be a warning light or fault code displayed until the vehicle has completed a road test, and the ignition is switched off for ten seconds. Oh, okay. Well, cool. It's checking for codes again. No con transmission codes. No parking assistant codes. Uh oh. No fault codes at all. Except. That exhaust flat, because that is unplugged. But everything else looks like it's in the green, unlike it was before. <laughs> well, we'll drive her for a little bit and see what's up with it. But this is a cool little product, man. This thing gets really in-depth, which is um, interesting. That flap thing probably saved my transmission, letting me know that, because I'm going to have to get out now and take my air dam off. And go in and manually open those flaps and then disconnect the motor which i know will probably give me a check engine light but um i don't need my transmission getting hot i'll just go in until i can cut those out like a uh, full bolt on garage did my upper ones but there it is not bad at all let me know what you guys think about this thing in the comments i'm sure you're going to see this around i like this big rubber design i really like this a lot man so major shout out to them for shooting this out to me man i really really appreciate it all right guys so that's going to do it for me today let me know what you guys think like i said in the comment section down below what do you guys think about this i think this is pretty dope um that's pretty 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 dope to see what i was able to get out of this um to see what i was able to pull off of this thing was actually really really cool man really really cool it does do coding and programming as well coding i wonder what coding it does getting the mileage it does it does coding this is crazy i like this see y'all on the next one Hey, write up a check on the print. 